Human rights defenders throughout the world have told us that there is a need for their protection. They are being killed, they are being threatened, they are being intimidated, they are being criminalised. So it is crucial that for that not to happen, that one step that the states, that states have to take is to enforce legislation that is going to protect human rights defenders. This, uh, model law will be a, a very useful tool for all of the stakeholders involved, state and civil society, uh, because it does articulate in, in quite a detailed way what an ideal system would look like. Uh, it's not prescriptive, it doesn't say this is the only way in which it can be done, but it provides broad principles and provisions that can be easily adapted to enable a national protective mechanism to be developed. Uh, law professors, uh, defenders, uh, heads of networks, uh, organizations uh, based in Geneva, but also organizations based in the field, to make sure that uh, uh, the, the draft model law would reflect the needs of different actors. The negotiation was intense. We were about, I'd say, 25 experts from all regions of the world. And uh, it was nearly, speaking as a former Swiss diplomat, it was nearly like an international negotiation. Uh, this will be a, a new tool in the hands of the defenders themselves. And for those countries where there has been no discussion um, for a national law for protection of uh, human rights defenders, we hope the model law will trigger and open the space for this conversation. We hope and expect that more governments will want to take up this protective mechanism. The hope, and one is always hopeful in this um, work, in the work on human rights, our hope is that all states in the international community will applaud it and will uh, legislate on it and implement it in every single country in the world.